Today in Stardew Valley, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own custom self-efficient greenhouse, which is 10 times better than the actual greenhouse in the game. This is going to be a game changer for you, so let's get started. We all know how great unlocking the greenhouse is in Stardew Valley. Not only is it rewarding and it helps you out in the cold winter season, but it can also be ideal for growing out of season crops in your current season. And of course, the greenhouse can be used to farm good amounts of ancient fruit all year round, which can bring massive amounts of money. You can even plant fruit trees around the edge of the greenhouse, plus all your crops will stay safe forever from crows and lightning. Amazing, huh? Well, what if I told you that there is a better and more efficient way of using the greenhouse method? One that will change your life forever. Maybe that's a little dramatic. Or is it? Let me explain and you can decide for yourself. So the actual greenhouse on the farm can be unlocked by two ways. The first and most rewarding way is by completing the pantry bundle in the community center. This can be done in the first year if you are lucky, but on average, most people will unlock this during the second year in the game. And the second and fastest way to unlock the greenhouse is by purchasing it from Morris at Joja if you decide to go down that path. Which, if you want to watch my journey doing this for the first ever time, click on the i button on the top right of the screen to watch my Joja run. This will cost you 35,000 gold and can easily be done by summer in your first year. So it's a much more faster way of getting the greenhouse, but you do need to make a little bit of money. The greenhouse holds 108 crops if using quality sprinklers, and you can grow 8 more if you use the iridium sprinklers, which gives you a total of 116 plants. It's safe to say that it doesn't really offer much space, which is the biggest downside. Having to use sprinklers does take up a lot of space, and if you are looking for efficiency, and then obviously you don't want to be watering in the greenhouse daily, so sprinklers are the way to go. And you only have one of them which cannot be upgraded to a greater size, like you can with the shed, which is a perfect segue to discuss my favorite method. You can turn a shed into lots of different things in Stardew Valley, and a custom greenhouse is one of them. You might be thinking, how the hell can you turn a shed into a greenhouse? Now, now, hold your horses. Let me show you, all right? Firstly, buy a basic shed from Robin. This will cost 15,000 gold and 300 wood, but you want to upgrade this to a big shed. This will double its size and it will cost you an extra 20,000 gold, plus some more resources. This works out at the same price for buying the greenhouse at Joja. Now you have your foundation to your brand new custom greenhouse, but let's get inside and discuss the next steps. Obviously, you can't till the soil in sheds, so in order to grow crops, you will need garden pots. I love these things. A garden pot is a crafted item that allows crops to be grown indoors. It can also be used to grow crops on the farm or even on the ginger island farm. The crops can be from any season except outdoors on the farm where they must be from the current season of course. But also do take note that garden pots cannot grow ancient seeds. This is the only seed you cannot place into a garden pot. So if you are wanting to create an ancient fruit empire, then this method is not for you. As soon after the greenhouse is completed in the game, Evelyn visits your farm and gives you one garden pot. Cheers, Granny. Plus the recipe for crafting more, which is what we will be doing today. The big shed can hold 137 garden pots, which means 137 plants. So much more than the 108 from the greenhouse. Yes, yes, I know. It may not sound like a lot, but this goes a long way, and there is still more to show you on why this is still better and more efficient. Just keep focused. First of all, you're probably wondering, how do these get watered? There is no way I'm watering them with a can every day. Nope. And you can't use sprinklers because of the space and the layout. Well, behold, the mighty deluxe retaining soil. Simply placing this beautiful mix into the garden pots before planting the seeds will give you a 100% chance, yes, a 100% chance of watering the soil for you overnight. All you need to do is water once to get started and then sit back and watch your amazing crops grow. So you get way more space to grow way more crops, they get automatically watered, there is no hassle, zero maintenance, easy layout, Sounds perfect, right? Well, it doesn't stop there, my friends. Oh no, because guess what? 
You could do this all over again and have 10 or even 100 of these sheds if you wish. Meaning, even more space, even more crops, and even more money, baby. And all of this is zero maintenance. Just harvest and cash in greenhouse sheds for the win. Have I won you over, guys? Do I sell this well to you? <laughs> no? No? Well, okay, let me give you some more. So you have 10 fully upgraded big sheds, you only get one greenhouse. They hold 137 garden pots in each one. Greenhouse only holds 108 crops. But guess what? Can you customize a greenhouse and make it look however you like? No? <laughs> well, this custom greenhouse shed, you can do just that. Place flooring, wallpaper, furniture, pictures, you name it. Make your shed look like the most perfect greenhouse ever to exist. Yes, that is right. And now you're sold. We got there in the end. So there we have it. Customizable, self-efficient, large greenhouse sheds. Lots of them. Wow. Much easier and better than just using the main greenhouse. There are a few things to note. You can't place fruit trees in sheds like you can in the greenhouse. Both the greenhouse and the sheds cannot make honey from the bee houses. But other than that, it is basically the same as a greenhouse, but better. Your crops are all safe, they're protected from the weather and the crows. And in the long run, this will be much more efficient and profitable for your farm business. Thank me later, this is gonna change your gameplay. Please show me your amazing greenhouse shed designs over on my Twitter, and I will choose a winner of my favorite greenhouse shed to win a nice giveaway. You can follow me down below in the description. Like I said, share with me your awesome designs from your sheds and your greenhouses, and I will be in touch with my favorite one. I'll announce it in another video to get your hands on a nice little gift. But that is all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cultivate that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't. But until then, I'm gonna be busy farming in my greenhouse shed. Take it easy and I'll see you on the next one.